Hi everyone, this is Judy and Mommy Dean, and I'm here today with a quick tech tip on how to use Google Slides to create eBooks, um, which you can use either professionally or in your classroom to help uh, with a project. Today, um, I have already started to set up the book. Now, the first thing I did is I went into Google Slides, created a new slide, and automatically whenever I touch this, uh, area up here at the top, it just whatever my title was became the title of this document, which I could always alter. Um, and the next thing I did is I went into file and I went all the way down to where it said page setup. And when I clicked on page setup, it gave you some options, usually was standard, but I chose custom. And when I did that, I chose eight by 11.5 inches because that was the paper size that I would want it to be. That would be according to a regular book. <clears throat> Once I did that, this is just a simple text box. I inserted an image using the insert image, and I got that from the computer. And then I just put in another text box over here, which was my name. Um, the next thing you want to do is you probably want to include a table of contents. Now, I don't want my table of contents to be yellow. I'm going to change it to the color. So I hit background and I change it to the color transparent in this case. And then I also want to come up here to layout and I'm just going to come all the way down to the bottom and choose blank. <clears throat> now I can start filling in the sorts of things that I want to put in here. Now I'm going to choose this box and put down <clears throat> table. Contents and I'm going to put down chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. Now, in this case, um, the font's quite small. I'll come back up here, I'll alter the font, I'll make sure it's in, uh, in a reasonable size. <laughs> Why am I getting that T there? That's a bit silly, hey? Should hit select all. Um, anyways, and then what's really nice about this is now I can make a link to the slide I want it to be. Now, I've already started another slide that says chapter one. So I'm gonna come over here to chapter one. And my title is how to use Google Apps to change the world. So this is gonna be how to create an ebook, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to link it to the slide that I begin that information at. So I'm going to hit insert, come down to link. When I get to link, I'm going to click on slides in this presentation. I'm going to scroll down, find it, and then I'm going to hit apply. And now that is going to automatically, when I click on it, boom, it takes me to that slide and how to create an ebook. One of the things I like about this, particularly if you have um, students who are going to make this, is let's say, for example, you wanted them to have specific things um, to be covered in their ebooks. What makes it nice is they could put their outline or notes below here to show that this is the content that they want to cover in the chapter or the page. So it makes it very um, nice in that way that you don't have that same um, opportunity to use that when you're in Google Docs. Uh, and then of course, you can have a bibliography at the end. Same idea, you would have your resources and include those links to the pages that you use. Um, outside. Let's say, for example, now I'm going to show you a feature. I have it open, but I didn't explain it. Um, it's called, it's a tool, and it's called Explore. And if I wanted to find something that I wanted to add to my document, let's say um, ending extreme poverty, then it will give me right there from Explore, give me web. It will give me images and then it will give me links to my drive. Now let's say, for example, I wanted to, I'm gonna come back to web and I wanted to use this link. All right, so I'm gonna click on that, oops. And V. 
there it is extreme ending poverty do you see how that is i just copy the link and there it is let's try another one um uh, i click on the the um the web source i hit copy and then up here come up here and paste and there it is um it's all in there um and I believe that we can even add these to nope, I think that's it. No, that's not it. Okay. Well, those are the ways that you could use uh, Google Explore. You can also use it to put in some images. So if you wanted to do that, you just, oh, there you go, insert. And it slips it in there. And you just kind of move things around. So you can see how here how handy this is. It's like you don't even have to go into the search to try to figure out how, how this, um, to find images and do things when you can just use the Explore tool which, by the way, if it is, if you don't go into the tools, you can also find it down below where it says speaker notes. So that's another great way that you can access it. And in some cases, in the formatting, it will give you some suggestions if you have multiple images in there and how you might um, design it so that looks nice uh, as a presentation. Well, there you have it. This is how you can create an ebook, easy peasy lemon squeezy, using uh, Google Slides. I hope this serves you, and I wish you the best of luck.